what began with five women claiming in an ITV documentary to have been sexually assaulted by Sir Jimmy Savile has now snowballed. And I went, I can tell you, I've been doing this for a long time now. I said, I reckon there's 500 victims. And of course, where did we get to? 500 victims. Jimmy Savile, once one of the BBC's brightest stars, revealed after his death as a serial sexual predator who raped and abused over decades. They were the police officers that came round to his flat in Leeds. Jimmy Savile had Margaret Thatcher. Jimmy Savile had access to Broadmoor. Jimmy Savile had Edwina Curry. Jimmy Savile had Prince Charles. Jimmy Savile had everybody. All of us, what we call the peoples, knew what was going on with the BBC. As bad as we now know it was? Yeah, we knew. But what has been lost is those people that could have stopped it from happening, or those people who had knowledge about it. So out of those 44 reviews, not a single person has been held to account. Why is it this happening to 14, 15-year-old girls? Why are they going back to DJ's houses? Why are they going to DJ's dressing rooms? And why are they going to the BBC bar? If they destroyed their, their, their cash cow, then it would look very stupid to them. He was a thoroughly evil man who was enabled by people just looking the other way. We all know what is right and wrong. You know, some of the stuff that came out after Savile was people turning around and saying, yeah, but in those days, that was OK. I've seen that. Let's be very clear, is it wasn't OK. It has always been wrong to sexually touch somebody without their consent or when they were a child. <laughs>